Here, today we are going to vaccinate our cheeks and here we are mixing the vaccine. So this is the ND or NCD and then the IB, the Newcastle disease and the infectious bronchitis. So here we are mixing our vaccine and these are 10 meals per each of the strip and we are mixing into a 10,000, I mean the 1,000 dosage first each bottle of this meaning uh, it will be 40 uh, mils into uh, 1000 dosage today it's a chilly morning and it's our 14th day meaning it's a second week and following the vaccination schedule are provided by our uh, our supplier uh, it's the in the 14th day that we're meant to do the NCD and then IBI vaccination. So the NCD is Newcastle disease and then infectious bronchitis. And uh, come on, I would like to show you how what preparation is going inside our brooder to show you uh, the kind of the program that we have and how we shall handle it. Let me show you. So here we are. And we have divided the brooder in two uh two one side so we have gathered it whereby we shall pick the cheeks after vaccinating i have the crew my vaccination vaccination crew here so we are vaccinating against the paraxmos virus now what is the paraxmos virus it's a virus which causes the newcastle disease so the Newcastle disease uh, has a lot of symptoms, but you can one of them you can find also a paralyzed bird, like they are lame. Now, and the other is the infectious bronchitis. Now, it is caused by the IBV. The IBV is the infectious bronchitis virus, which causes the infectious bronchitis disease. So now, we are giving them this vaccine to boost up the immunity now a vaccine is a virus which is introduced into uh, say a disease virus which introduced into the bird to fight that specific virus like the paraxmos virus or the ibv which affects or attacks our birds for the administration of this vaccine we administer there is options given by our uh, supplier of our crayla chicks so the first option is the eye drop or just by water, drinking water to our birds. But we have opted for the eye drop. Uh, this actual vaccine can be administered uh, through the nostrils or the mouth. Because remember, they have also subscribed that we can put it in water. So, but we have opted first for the first three vaccinations. We have opted for the eye drop so that our vaccination is so effective that each and every bird gets the dose now there are specific uh, precautions that must be taken during vaccination so first and foremost always ensure the biosecurity measures so and as well you as the person or going to you know vaccinate the cheeks you must know what you're going to vaccinate against you can't go and just start doing what you don't know and also know the mixtures that you should put i mean your vaccine how you should mix your vaccine ensure to handle your vaccines properly and administer the, the right mixed vaccine to the spot do not mix different type of disease vaccines what do i mean if it is for ncd together with the ibi let it be for that if it is for fall pox let it be for fall pox and as well follow the vaccine dosage instruction so as instructed by the manufacturer of that vaccine you have to follow that instruction for you to get the proper and the right result at the end of the vaccination right now after the vaccination you must keep the records of the birds vaccinated and the vaccine used the type of the vaccine used and as well the date when the birds 
are vaccinated. So that should be in the record. Well, maybe during the time or during vaccination, there are certain type or certain mortality rates or what do I say? Maybe certain death that you might discover. Kindly take a note, record them because they are all needed in the time or in the line of your production. Before vaccination, ensure that the feeders have feeds and the drinkers have water. Now, into that water, you must have mixed the glucovit because there is a way sometimes these birds react to the, to, to, to the vaccines because, you know, as well, when we, I remember when we were vaccinated against coronavirus disease, it really, that vaccine disturbed a lot. But for this case, you must have that glucovit mixed into the drinkers, I mean, into the water, then put it into the drinkers, meaning that drinkers must be, must be set with water and as well the feeders. Just that water helps them to recover from their stress. So after the vaccination, we were encountered with a few challenges uh, whereby we lost a certain birds. But it could be there was a virus already which has entered certain birds. And you know, before vaccination, you have to ensure that your chicks are healthy. So you must vaccinate a healthy chick. So, and the other that we discovered, they were discomforted and they were confined as in, as a, a squeezed place. So, but, and then the other, the vaccine reaction. So be it a small scale or commercial poultry keeping, vaccination has always played a key role in farming. I encourage everyone to follow the vaccination calendar and vaccinate your sheep. And never forget to contact or get the advice from your veterinary doctor.